What's up guys? This is Jeremy here with the Arkansas CW. We had the chance to chat with Jared Padalecki about his new series, Walk. Let's check it out. So Jared, how does it feel to receive such a warm welcome from the viewers? I mean, you guys already got an early renewal, so that's great in itself, but I'm sure that must take off an immense amount of pressure, right? Big time. I mean, this, this project was such a, um, uh, you know, I, I was on Supernatural for 15 and a half years because the pandemic kind of dragged out an extra six months. And so this project was already in development. And so the, the pressure of uh, Valve hadn't yet been released. And it was just longer wait and longer wait and longer wait and longer wait. It, it gave us more time to work on it, I suppose, from afar. Um, but the fact that people are enjoying it is a, is a great credit to Anna Fricky and, and our awesome writing staff, our, our directors, our cast. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a bold move, I guess, to take a show that was so popular for so long and totally reimagine it. And it can go one of two ways. Either they say, you know, there aren't enough karate kicks to people's heads or they go like, oh, I see, this is a different show for a different time and embrace it. And it seemed like, it seems like uh, a lot of folks have chosen the latter. And so it's great because we're, we're all working really hard. We take it really seriously. Uh, we have a good time on set and, you know, as, as much as we can in this crazy like COVID world where we're all wearing masks, I don't know what half of our crew's faces look like unless they take down their mask to have a sip of water and put it back up. I'm like, oh, there's your face. Uh, but we're making the most of it. It already feels like we have a nice little family going on and uh, it's, it's been very flattering and further kind of motivation and inspiration to, to keep going, keep working hard. All right, so there's such a strong sense of family with you guys. So can you break down the dynamic for me and what it's like behind the scenes? You know what? We've really made the most of it. Like we have a uh, we have a, a cast text thread, uh, and I, I joke with Anna, who's running the show often. I'm like, you know, we're talking. Are your ears burning? Because we're talking about you in the cast thread, and she's like, I want to be added. I'm like, nope. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, we have a good time. You know, some of these actors I've known previously and worked with previously, um, and some it was just brand new. But it, everybody clicks, and there's something about where we shoot here in Austin that it, it, it kind of um, it kind of behooves you to just be chill and be friendly. And so it, it's, not the, it's not the hustle and bustle of like a Los Angeles or even a Vancouver or a New York City. Uh, it's sort of like, hey, this is all cool. Like if we have issues, let's just talk about them. Um, and we were very clear since day one that you know, communication is key. Um, and I think we all communicate and just get along and you know, tease each other and rib each other and have a good time. Um, so that's, that's been a, a, a nice blessing. Now we all know Walker is such an iconic character. So Jared, what did you do to make this role your own? And also, can you tell us a little bit about how this version of Walker is different from the original? Uh, so we just set out to tell a different story, you know, so, so Chuck's Walker was about, uh, a ranger who happened to have a family. This show was really about a family man who happens to be a ranger. Um, and so dealing with a lot of the, it, it, because we do that, we're more able to deal with a lot of stuff that's going on in 2021, as opposed to in 1994. Um, and so that was, a it, we just, it was either, Hey, we're going to try and throw homages out all the time, or we're going to tell our story and see what people think. Um, and I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. So I grew up, you know, watching Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. And I've seen all the memes and I love them. Um, and so it was like, well, we're not really going to be able to recreate that, like that, that stands alone in time. Um, so what, what story can we tell? And, um, fortunately for us, the studio and the network, uh, let us kind of do our bit. All right. Now there are so many intense things that seem to be happening in this upcoming episode. And I know you can't say much, but what can you tell us about it? Well, what I, what I can tell you is that this episode uh, that airs on next Thursday, the 10th, uh, it was originally our season finale. So we, after we aired, I think episode one or two, we got picked up for season two, but they also added five episodes to season one. So we were going to end at 13, which is this episode and then go to a season two, but they added five episodes. So this episode is enormous. Like this was a, a 13 episode uh, cell basically. And it was like, listen, episode 13 needs to be huge. And it's huge. I mean, there's action, there's emotion, uh, everything in between, but the, the Rodeo King story that we've been working on all season uh, really comes to a climax. 
and uh, in a in a in a brutal and and violent way. Um, and there's a lot that goes on. We see a lot of characters that we've seen all season long so far, and um, and everybody has an arc within, which is pretty impressive by the writers to take 42 minutes of of screen time and go like, all right, we're gonna give everybody something to do. Uh, but it's 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 wild. It's a wild episode. For the character progression of Walker, what can we expect to see for the rest of season one and going into season two? As far as my character goes, Walker, um, we continue to see his growth as uh, a, a widow to a, a father um, and a son and a friend and a ranger and somebody, you know, whether or not somebody's in law enforcement or military, we've all been through traumas one way or the other. And so I think the universal kind of theme that we're dealing with is how people can kind of stray after they've not even stray, but but be a little bit less than they're capable of being and how they can build back up to that. And as far as the character goes and the storyline goes, um, this episode makes it clear that there is more at play than just the Rodeo Kings. Uh, and so we'll we'll definitely delve into that both at the end of the season and next season. All right, guys, there you have it. You can catch Walker Thursdays at 7 p.m. on the Arkansas CW. Until next time.